All right, welcome to Metroid Fusion. Um, so this is Metroid 4. And I'm playing this um, on my Game Boy Player with a bootleg copy of Metroid Fusion. I recently just played Dread a whole bunch of times, got nostalgic, and I thought, oh, I'll play Fusion again, but I sold my old copy. So I picked up this copy off Facebook Marketplace. It was $15, and it works, but then sometimes it just... Uh, it gets a little uh, iffy. So last night I tried recording this and uh, I got the black screen of death twice and by that point I'm so tired. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we, uh, we have better luck this time. So let's get right to this. Metroid 4. Um... Metroid Fusion, good game. Um, a good, uh, a good sequel, I guess, kind of to Super Metroid. Um, it sort of captured that side scroll in action that we all know and love, somewhat. Um, because it be because it came out on the Game Boy Advance, it uh, it was limited. It was very limited. And there's a that was our first nav room the navigation rooms in this game as we will see really 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 chop up the action of the game and I don't like that I don't like it at all Kind of looks like a skull right there, or like Darth Vader. I don't know. It just kind of looks like Darth Vader after uh, in, Jet in Jedi after Luke defeats him. Anyway, tangent. Um, this game suffers from a lot of things. It's, one, it's way too linear. There's absolutely no possibility of sequence breaking whatsoever. Once again, we see these navigation rooms. And it's, a, it's all plot, which isn't bad. The ox can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it. The gelatinous sex parasites invade and rapidly reproduce. Killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You're almost killed by an X-infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and so well. But it's also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free flow X parasites without a host merely touching them. Will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent li abilities this way. Observe free X parasites whenever you possibly can. The station is open to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breed environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. All right, here we go. <clears throat> 10% capacity. Extremely low. And it's, there we go. So it's these like, these constant navigation room sessions with Adam that just, um, I don't know, it just, it's no, it sort of slows the game down. You just find yourself sitting here just pressing A over and over and over. I'm going to avoid the save rooms as much as I can. Oops, wrong button. And here's the 
here's another one. Like, what, what do you have to tell me now? Again. I received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. That's another thing I don't like. Downloadable weapons data. Call me old fashioned, just give me a Chozo statue, but you're on the biological search or biological space laboratory or BSL, so you know. The Chozo don't even <laughs> Of course you're not gonna see Chozo statues. That, that would be ridiculous, but it's like other M, you know, it's like Adam had to authorize, you know, the use of the various suit, authorize the use of the ice beam. Now, I'm going to go on a little diatribe here and do a spoiler alert. We're about to um, find out what the SAX is. The SAX is the... Well, I'm not going to spoil it. I'll let the game do its thing. See, right there, there's just absolutely no sense of achievement. None whatsoever. Electrical interference knocked out the only yellow bears on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it as for you. Try to find another way to the target. It's located here. Another thing, this is this is really nitpicking. I do not like any of the fonts in this game. <laughs> I'm not a graphic designer, but yikes, I do not like the fonts in this game. Zero Mission, I like the font in Zero Mission. I mean, once again, they're limited, you know, because you're on the Game Boy Advance here. But, uh, just can't get into this font. <laughs> Missiles in this game, though, are like candy. We're about to go face our first <clears throat> quote unquote boss. And uh We've already got twenty missiles and we're about to get two energy tanks. Damn it. And our first boss is... Ah, see, right there I just want to wall jump, but... Wall jumping in this game is so hard. Just totally counterintuitive. If I was like trying to speed run this, I, <laughs> I would fail miserably. Here's our first energy tank. Our first boss is Arachnus, and Arachnus first appeared in Metroid 2, and now appears here <coughs> in Fusion. Later also appears in um, Samus Returns, apparently. Of course, because it's a remake of Metroid 2. I always do poorly against Arachnus. 
poorly. Like if this was like, if there was like a dread mode in fusion, I would die. <laughs> the swag. I hate Corexes. I didn't like them in Dread and I really don't like them in this game. Come on, give me the missiles. Jeez. Like, that should not have taken that long. But somehow it did. I don't know. So there's Arachnus, our first boss, that gives us the Morph Ball. I keep trying to do the slide. And I can't. I keep hitting the left button or the, le or the right button to slide. It's the left button. And it's just, especially coming off of Dread, like I have this weird Metroid Dread hangover. And then coming back to this was like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I just drove a Porsche, now I'm going to drive a Model T. <laughs> Ooh. Um, there's this video on YouTube. And, um... Posits, you know, how this game sort of creates tension. Well, yes and no. <clears throat> I don't think this this game is scary. Um, there we go with that choppy uh, bootleg save. I I don't find this game scary. I mean, there's two parts where you're when you face when you face the SAX that you know you got to run for your life, and that's scary-ish. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Like about Adam or the compute the computer is it kind of explains it to you like you're a child like this is something I couldn't figure out on my own you know I I kind of resent that a little bit is it this one oh I missed it anyway that gray room just below me um, it's frozen and Ridley is in there Yes, Ridley is back. Is it Ridley in this one? It's Neo Ridley. So many iterations of Ridley. Here we go. There it is, the SAX. The commercials for Fusion are actually pretty cool. Uh, at least, I think it was the American. Was it the American or the Japanese commercial? Maybe it was the Japanese commercial that showed the SAX. Anyway, they're really cool. So, continuing on my, <clears throat> my gripes with Metroid Fusion. So here we are, the main elevator, and you have six different areas, six different breeding environments. That we'll all say. Spoiler alert. We find out that the SAX can reproduce itself. 
So by the end of the game, Adam informs you that, oh, there's like 10 SAX on the, on the space station. That being said, why didn't every area have a different SAX that gave you a certain power-up? Rather than these data rooms. And when, this is another beef of mine. They, they highlight like certain bullet points in the text. They did that with Dread too. And it seemed really random. Here we go with the music. It's better than Dread. The music is better than Metroid Dread. And I don't know, these like, these recharge rooms are kind of cheap. Kind of cheap. Don't get me wrong, I mean, it's nice to have a recharge room at the beginning of every level, and I think interspersed within some of the areas, there's there's recharge rooms in other places. <clears throat> but sort of takes the challenge out of it. Um, the backgrounds, though, the backgrounds in this game are really cool. Um, in the Arctic zone is where they really sort of... Uh, they actually have a use in the Arctic zone. We'll see that later. Much later. My goal for this game... And my last playthrough... Shit. My last playthrough... I did it... I think I did it under three hours... Or with 100% completion, I did it under... Did it under four hours? Anyway, I got sexy Samus in a black bikini. I, I don't care about the endings. I just don't. You want to see the endings, go on the internet. That's what the internet's for. Um, so that's my goal is 100% completion. Um, oh, hey. Hundred percent completion in about four hours, because a lot of that time is spent um, doing cleanup. After. I mean, you could beat the game straight up, and if you concentrate, I guess you could do it in about an hour and a half. Ooh, that's an annoying noise. Sounds like my dryer. Ugh. Oh, now here I go. I'm gonna jinx myself. Last night when I was tr ow. All right, it only took 20 hits, hit 20 points of damage. That's that's cheap because once we get to the tropical zone, who you take a lot of damage. All right, what are the space pirates doing here? That never gets explained. And in typical Metroid fashion, we have a really long room and there's lava on the bottom and there's some sort of conveyor system that you can go over. Every Metroid game, every one. Going all the way back to the original. I got lazy there. I just I took a whole bunch of damage because it didn't feel like dealing with the space pirates. But why are the space pirates even here? Um, 
Now when you take damage in this game, <clears throat> you take some damage and recovery is not easy. Like I'm down an energy tank and 25 hit points. I'd have to farm for quite some time just to get that back, Al. And I, <clears throat> I apologize now. I'm playing on my um, my controller for my GameCube is a uh, third party. It's very clicky. I was thinking about playing with my my Game Boy Advance because I had the link cable. It's not as clicky. Um, but I don't know. I'm so used to using the controller, I'm just gonna stick with what I know. There we go, missiles like candy. We're up to Yeah, missiles, so we're up to like 25, and I was thinking, when it, I got to thinking about missiles and Metroid games. Um, uh, I, s <laughs> I always forget what the controls do in this game to this day. I, I'm like, what, what does this do? I mean, like, okay, so by the time you reach Corpius in Metro Dread, you know, if you get all the missiles that are available, you should have 25. Um, here, when we reach um, the Elephant Bird, don't get it started, um, we'll have 25 missiles. I don't like these enemies because then they throw like these like little lava dots. Just you get hit. This game isn't very forgiving. All right, here it is. We'll come back here later because there's a two speed booster puzzles here. a bit of overkill. I don't I don't need to be doing this. I, I could just go and get the red X parasite and just fill up. But... There we go. That's where you go. Five missiles. All right. What's wrong? All right. Okay. And it looks like a Chozo statue. Get your get your hopes up. No, it's this stupid Corex. That's the charge beam. Thank you. 
This blade shouldn't, shouldn't, yeah, shouldn't take that long. It's just a stupid Korax, you just keep shooting in the eye with a missile and then you get the charge beam. Not really a boss. I would say don't worry about missiles, but at the same time, you need to... By the time you face Ridley, or Neo Ridley, or whatever Ridley it is, he, I think you have like 180 missiles. You're in the ballpark of that. Jeez. Like it's how the air clears up a little bit. I don't know, graphically I liked Zero Mission better as a side scroller. But graphically, ultimately, I like I like Super Metroid. Starting to get my chops back a little bit here. But let's see here, going back to this whole missile thing, but like in Metroid, I just played Metroid Prime 1 and 3. By the time you face Flagra, the boss in uh, the Chozo Ruined, you've got, you're up to about 30 some missiles. That's all you really, um, on the Trilogy Edition, you don't really need a lot. On the GameCube version, you need a lot. can explore, can go exploring around, you know, the different areas, but once you, basically, once you kill a boss in an area, you get an ability, go on to the next area, that's all there is to it. That whole, that whole interchange right there. Basically all it says is, you know, the X parasites are spread in, now go to tropical zone. Okay, is that something we can't figure out for ourselves? Any objections, lady? So, you know, I'm gonna put this little issue to end. Yes, <laughs> here we are in fusion and missiles get handed out like candy. The amount of energy tanks in this game also are, is ridiculous. Okay, I made it to the, <laughs> to the tropical zone. Now, what do you wanna tell me? Oh.
So the SAX is, is armed with the ice beam, all right? Welcome to the tropical zone. This hands down is probably I hate this area. Um disclaimer. I'm not gonna lie here. I just died because I wasn't paying attention to my energy at all. I was just running around, just walking into enemies stupidly, and I died. Like, I didn't even get the boop, 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 boop. Didn't get that. I just died. Because you take so much damage from the enemies in the tropical zone. And just henceforth. So, if you can, try to avoid the enemies. Ugh. I hate the color, I hate the everything. Ew. I... Music's okay. Why can't the whole game look like that? Like some sort of weird level of Sonic the Hedgehog. And not some crazy jungle. So right now I'm cruising, it's like, oh yeah, I got, you know, I got three full energy tanks, I got 40 missiles, I'm fine. No, <laughs> not. Leave me alone. Look at that. Boom. 45. 45 points of damage from that flying thing. Oh, yay. I'm going to download the bomb data. It's just boring. It's like... No sense of achievement. It's just I walked into a room and downloaded something. Keep forgetting I have the charge beam. I don't like the charge beam in this game because it's so damn loud. It's like a vacuum or a printer that you just don't like. <laughs> it's, an un it's, a, it's a necessary evil, though. The action in this is a little, uh, the action infusion is a little, I don't know, stop, I don't know what the word is, like, my vocabulary is a little blank today, like, you got this ledge hang thing that, that was new, and it took some, a little bit of getting used to. I don't know, it's, it's just, the whole game feels choppy. And of course, we don't have spring ball yet. Metroid Prime, you get the spring ball when you get the bombs. Mm -hmm. 
Metroid 4, you don't get it until you get the high jump boots. In Super Metroid, you don't get it until you just get your own, it's its own thing. Of course, when you get the bombs, you do what every Metroid player does, you just bomb every surface you can, thinking there's something there. You come into a room like this, you're like, there's, there's gotta be a way to get through here now. <laughs> there's a couple rooms like that in Fusion. It's like, oh, there's gotta be something here. No. It's just a big empty room. Alright, see if you can bomb jump. See, you can't bomb jump, so right away you know you can't really do a lot of sequence breaking in this game. Because bomb jumping is a staple of any good sequence break. Alright. It's right around here where actually I died. Look at that. Down an energy tank and a half in 30 seconds. Was that cheap? Yes, it was. <laughs> go off screen, come back on screen, so we hope that they, that these little bloop things go away. Alright, I'm going to... Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. So you gotta do the whole... On screen, off screen, regen thing here before you save. Which basically means there's a boss coming up. I mean, that's textbook. That's textbook Metroid right there. Oh, you need energy because you're about to face a boss. Who is the boss anyway? Oh, this one is um. Zazabi. This one's stupid. Why is it this one? No, I think that's the next area. I forget. remake this game for the Switch or just release it on the Switch. That would be so cool. <clears throat> Dear Mercury Steam, <clears throat> given the success of Metroid Dread, please release Metroid Fusion with HD graphics on the Switch. That's another thing I don't like about Fusion is there's a save room like every 10 minutes. <clears throat> I'm trying to make it a little hard, I guess. I don't know. And they always give you an energy tank right before a boss. Oh. 
damn it. Come on. Thank you. All right, here we go. Zazabi. Let's see here. You fall into this thing and you can't get back out. What can it possibly give you? Ugh. It's, it's like, it's, it's too anime cartoony. I don't know, it's just... It was a big turn-off facing this boss. Here, don't, don't get sucked in because then that happens. I have a real, tr real problem lining up, especially this one and, um... Yakuza. Yes, they named a boss after the Japanese Mafia. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> this whole game is kind of cartoony, like... our high jump boots and jump jump ball not spring ball sorry <clears throat> I'm gonna have to grab a beverage here Sorry, what was the name of that thing? Zazabi. Even had a bad cartoon name. And all the enemies end up <clears throat> somehow frozen in time. Once again, this is... Why? Why Why does this happen? Why does killing Zazabi change anything? SAX. <clears throat> I've never once actually tried to jump out there and face it. <laughs> uh, what's in here?
I don't think you necessarily need the gravity suit to get the missiles in there. Don't quote me on that. Space jump, anyone? <clears throat> I think I missed a missile. Hmm. Say that ten times fast. I think I just missed a missile somewhere back there, but I really don't care because I don't feel like looking for it. Yeah. All right, that's it for uh, the tropical zone for now. Let's go get a briefing from Adam. We got trouble right here in River City. <laughs> right here in BSL. With a capital L and that rhymes with hell and that stands for... I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> the SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4. Now you could go back to Sector 1 and go through all the blue doors, you know. Being a good Metroid game, it's going to have some backtracking, of course. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. 